Welcome back. Is it time? For what? For your career change. I'm picturing maybe a lab coat, some reading glasses... There's more to it than that. The School of Medicine at Campbelltown has actually done extensive research with biomedical nanotechnology. Awesome! What's that? Let's find out in our Academic Innovation segment, which includes an interview with senior lecturer Antonio Lato. My name is Antonio Lato. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer at the School of Science and Health. And my degree is a PhD degree in uh, Biomedical Engineering. And my undergraduate is in Physics. The first time I came to Australia was really to visit the country. Uh, I had the chance to enroll in a master uh, at Macquarie University and uh, I decided to come here even if I had money only for the first semester uh, of this degree. Um, I came in at the end of 93. I did my master at Macquarie University and uh, I worked at the University of New South Wales until I came here. The, the University of Western Sydney offered me a position, a full-time position as a lecturer in biomedical nanotechnology and I was very happy to join the class. So the School of Medicine um, uh, gave me the two laboratories, one for uh, handling the chemicals uh, that I need to prepare my compounds and then a small room for the laser and that is because the laser has hazards and uh, therefore has to be separated from the chemistry laboratory. My innovation consists of um, a thin film um, made of chitosan. Chitosan is a chemical compound that is derived from the exoskeleton of uh, crustaceans, and so it's very abundant. Uh, what happens is that um, I make these very thin films out of this chitosan, and then I include a dye, a pink dye, called Rose Bengal. Um, this film is uh, placed on the tissue that I want to repair. It sticks initially without any uh, laser action, so you can easily place it on uh, the wound you want to repair. Then you shine a laser, a green laser, and that enhances uh, dramatically the bonding strength of the adhesive on the tissue. So, uh, it's a very simple technique, uh, it's not really expensive and it's quite effective. Now, the adhesive was developed by me um, about 10 years ago and uh, with the great help of collaborators such as uh, David Manns. The level of science here in Australia is really high, so it was a great combination. A key element of the research for uh, testing uh, the adhesive. You can see here uh, how it works. We um, place our sample, tissue sample, where the adhesive has been attached to uh, with the laser, and then we want to find out how strongly the adhesive is attached on the tissue. So what we do, we take the sample between the grips, and then we ask the computer to action the upper grip and make it move up in this fashion. At a certain point, uh, the adhesive is going to fail and we can find exactly how strong is the attachment of the adhesive on tissue. Uh, one advantage of the uh, chitosan adhesive uh, compared to the traditional um, way of repairing tissue, in particular stitches, is that the adhesive um, is placed on tissue and um, once the laser activates the adhesion, um, doesn't require any further action to hold tissue together. Uh, the adhesive, after three months, is absorbed by the body. So compared to stitches, uh, obviously uh, there is a, an advantage because uh, especially uh, stitches made of um, silk or um, nylon um, do not degrade. Um, so uh, with time. So there is this obvious advantage of a minimal invasive technique uh, due to the chitos and adhesive. And we were able to repair uh, tissue with success.
Hi, I'm Lillian Paul. I'm here at the Hidden Gem at UWS Campbelltown. Come follow me and let's see what it is. Medicine is located in Building 30 at Campbelltown campus. This architecturally engaging building was officially opened by the Honorary Julia Gillard on 17th of November 2008. The 8,120 square metre School of Medicine facility on the Campbelltown campus forms an attractive eastern gateway to the campus. The state-of-the-art facility, partially funded with $25 million from the federal government, is the school's main academic and administrative base and has been designed by award-winning architectural firm Lyons. The firm was selected through a competition under the aegis of the Royal Australian Institute of Architects. The School of Medicine is very prestigious and is leading the way for the future doctors of Australia. The facility includes a main headquarters block containing reception, student administration, academic offices and research spaces for PhD and other higher degree students, teaching accommodation including an anatomy laboratory, computer laboratory, clinical skills laboratory and a large multi-purpose practical space, and eight research laboratories for medical sciences and wet research. The four buildings are connected by a central hub, which is an outdoor space covered by a striking roof. This provides an informal meeting place for the entire campus community. This building is an amazing and unique feature of the Campbelltown UWS campus. The UWS School of Medicine is helping solve Australia's critical medical workforce shortages and strengthening the state's health systems by training extra doctors to work across Greater Western Sydney's hospitals, health services and general practices to keep pace with a rapidly growing population. The School of Medicine is making important contributions to Australian research in areas such as neuroscience, population health, molecular biology, pharmacology, genomics and mental health. Thank you Emily and Paul for joining us with our hidden gem. I just love discovering all these fantastic things about our campuses. Exactly. It's like there's a surprise around every corner. Well now you're just getting cheesy. No, I think I pulled it off. Anyway, it's time for a short break and we'll be back with our campus roundup. And we're back. Well, my favourite part of the show. And you're just saying that. Possibly, but you can't prove anything. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Yes, time to check in with our campus representatives. So I've been at the Bankstown campus for a while now and I've got to say the people here are really friendly. And this thing is just getting really annoying. <sighs> and now we're at the campus bar, or at least where the bar used to be. But now they've turned it into a gym. The gym offers great yoga and boot camp classes and fantastic state-of-the-art equipment. I'm off to check it out now. Welcome to the Warrington South Gym. It's been put here to help develop cardio and the fitness of the students on campus. Now back to you in the studio, I hope you're having fun keeping fit. Oh god. What's up guys? Still waiting here at North um, Campus. Biggest mistake of my life. Been here for three days. No food. No water. I'm hungry. What am I doing here? This is honestly 
out all the decisions I've made in my life, this is probably at the top one. And look, see, growing a beard, all from this. I don't even like beards, beards don't even suit me, and I've grown a beard. Thanks, Paramount Campus. Cheers. I'm here at Kingswood Campus at the UWS gym, and I've been told this is the best place to work out and get fit. Not that I really need it. Let's give this a go. Hi, my name is Mel and I'm here at the UWS Hawkesbury campus. As you know, it's a very stressful time of semester, so I'm here with some of the locals to find out how they keep their coat so maintained and looking fine during such a stressful time. Hmm. Well guys, you had it here first, back to you. Well, that's all for today. I've learnt so much about Campbelltown campus. Yeah, everyone seems so friendly. I might never leave. I wouldn't blame you, so long as you make it back to Parramatta for next week's episode. Of course. Now enjoy our fantastic musical talent and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>